Have you ever been stuck in a 1v1 situation against the Monty and he's just standing there menacingly in the corner and there's just nothing you can do because he's just fully extended? Hey. Well, that makes me ask a question. Are shields broken in Rainbow Six Siege? Now this shield buff has actually made a lot of people scared to play against them. The amount of times people have just run away from me because they see 300 pounds of just pure meat run towards them is just insane. Like what are you scared of? Is it the giant package that Monty hides? Hey. However, this does not go for everyone. Fuse does not have this luxury. Besides his gadget making him sprint at the pace of Oryx, his shield is the complete opposite. As long as you have a distance between you and the shield, it's almost impossible to lose this fight. Like, all you have to do is just shoot at his feet or his shoulders, and if you know he's gonna ADS to try to shoot you, you know where to aim as well. But you're probably thinking to yourself, who the fuck plays shield on Fuse? I definitely don't. I, I play Fuse shield. Maybe it's because I like a challenge, or maybe it's because I'm an idiot. I'll let you decide that one. <laughs> Make sure to like and subscribe, we're currently on 213 subs. Now what about Blitz you may ask? Well, he could already sprint with his shield up, but now if you shoot him while he's sprinting at you, it actually slows him down a significant amount. Now the one thing that Blitz actually had that was useful for him, was able to hit fire. Backing out of a situation and using hit fire was really good to make sure that like no one was peeking you, especially when you run into a room and then like three of your teammates die and then it ends up being like a 2v5. His counter is pretty much everyone. Anyone that can shoot a bullet can either slow him down or kill him. Now all you have to do is combine that with a Malusi gadget or barbed wire and he's going to be as slow as gridlock on a good day. Oh man. Now what about Clash? She already has the ability to slow people down and deal damage at the same time. However, there is a pretty good counter for that, and it's a thing called an EMP. Well, you either need one of these or don't wait till the last second to push her. Why, why does everyone that plays against Clash wait until like the last 10 seconds to try to push and kill her? I, I don't get it. I mean, just pinch it from two different angles. However, to make Clash even worse, they decided to nerf her where if you shoot her shield, it slows her down, which is the exact same with all the other shields. Now, why did Ubisoft add this? Seriously, why did why did Ubisoft add this? I don't know why they changed half the shit in the game. Like, we, we don't ask for it. Now we have Osa. She is about as pointless as banning Thatcher. There are 101 Dalmate, I mean counters, to get rid of her shield. The amount of times I see an Osa get blown to absolute smithereens is insane. It's like a deer on the road running or just staring down the road at a truck that is like 500 meters away. And is like, well, that's it for me, I'm, I'm dead. Like, just fucking move. Or, if you're like Macy J, you could EMP the C4 like an absolute chad. But Hammy, what about impact grenades? They, they can't be disabled with an EMP. Yeah, you're right. Maybe just drone at the start of the match, and you'll know not to play Osa, because they have impacts. So my question to you is, are shields broken? And if they are, which shield is more broken than the other shield? Is it just Monty? Is it all of them? And if you enjoyed this video, I highly recommend you watch this video where I show lineups in Rainbow Six Age.